five years since the total crackdown on breakfast goods and related snacks, and the persistent problem of serial offenders is now worse than ever. This video will hopefully give you an insight and take you deeper, much deeper, into this strange, dark and twisted world. After the initial ban in 2040, we saw an explosion in demand for things like Rice Krispie Squares, toast, and even rare jams. This created a wave of unrest throughout every single community, and within days of the legislation, we saw the entire breakfast trade move underground. After this, we saw a torrent of violence sweep the nation between the two main rival gangs, the Brecky Boys, and Crunchy Justice for this extremely lucrative business. Well, initially there was merely a 10am curfew for breakfast-related goods, but after the midday raids by Leaks, it soon became apparent that toast and certain marmalades were still a major issue. Leaks, for those of you unfamiliar with the name, are the lovely enforcement agency for cereal and stuff. After these discoveries were made, it was obvious that a real food curfew was impossible to uphold, so the decision was made to, um, to enforce an outright ban on all breakfast goods with immediate effect. And there was these uh, like fruit winder things as well, you know those, yeah. Um, I just like, I'd have my hands against the wall and I'd have girls just whipping me with them. It, it, it's such a rush, like, I, mean, I can feel myself getting excited now thinking back to it, like. One day it went from families having sensible breakfast meals around the table all together, in the morning of course, and then the next, Children were dealing crisped rice goods in the playground. Yeah, man, we just used to go behind the toilets and get cocoa popped all the time. We did it before school, lunchtime, break time. We just did it all the time. Sometimes we'd eat a whole box in one go, stay up for hours just getting popped. Eventually, they found me curled up in a car park, gnawing on a raw pack of bacon. They were dark times. It just got out of hand, and addiction soon became widespread. Hello, man. You got any um, toast or croissants or anything like that? Croissant? Do I look like a f***ing French bakery now, bud? Um, what about some jam? Do you have any jam? You mu Where the f*** am I going to keep jam, you muppet? I've just got these. Uh, right, um, I'll take the... Hey, is that a camera on your head? Oh. Uh, That's a f***ing camera! Yeah. Breakfast, you eat breakfast, every f who eats breakfast, man. You give me breakfast, you fing kids. You give breakfast, you I kids just... in the morning? Yes. What the I hell do. is wrong with you? Everybody fing gives breakfast with a fing kid. Who the fing are you? 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 There's nothing wrong with the ice cereal habit. Oh, so you fing are you? As soon as the whole ordeal went underground, things really began to get out of hand. I remember uh, one day at home I was casually browsing the internet, as one does, and um, I came across this video that was quite frankly disgusting. It was pure breakfast filth. Like, I'd be sat there in a, in a paddling pool, like, you know, like a, a little like kid's paddling pool. It'd just be filled with milk and cereal floating everywhere in it, and the girls in bikinis just stood around me, just like, pouring it down my chest, and the sugar puffs just like sticking to your nipples, and it was like, it, 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 it real good. As good, as good as it all sounds, you know, fun and games, it did um, go downhill, went sour real fast. Lost my wife, my relationship with my daughter's just gone out the window, I lost my house, I had to sell my car, and the money I got for that I had to use to pay for the divorce, and that, <laughs> everything else went even more tits up. Fuck you, man! Yes, I'm Fuck you! I'm Fuck you! Questions here. Are they, what? Are they, are they popping pop right now? Can we get security in here, please? Get, get these- ah! oh, Rape! Right, Rape! Right, right. So, five years on and we are still no closer to solving this ever-growing epidemic. Some experts believe that legislation and regulation is the way forward. However, politicians believe that this will only fuel the ever-growing problem. They believe that you will wake up in the morning, have a bowl of cereal before getting into the car, maybe drive to work under the influence, maybe drive back to school, maybe hit a child, maybe they'll die! This is just too much of a risk for them. This is Bob Bobbing Bobbington reporting.